What are you doing here? Huh? Don't you want to try my delicious ice cream? Mm -hmm. Get in here, you little bastard! I'm going to kill some kids today. I'm looking for the chump clubby one. I'm going to find me some chubby kids and we're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with me! Give me the ice cream! Hi, Jay! Are you coming to play? The boys are in the secret lair. My brother has told me he has something to tell me. Well, it sure is silly. But well, you know what? Ah! Get in here, you little bastard! Actually, I, I don't need so much to be so bad. Oh. Yes, I, I recently tried some of my father's special ice cream, but it's only one. Why am I so different? I don't want to be like that. Father, you were my only family. I never met my mother. But that never mattered to me. You and I were a great team, Father. I always wanted to be an ice cream maker as big as you. Though I wish you had more time for me as a child. I had so many problems in class, Father. Now I'm older, and I take good care of my affairs. Everyone has what they deserve over time. Isn't that right, Father? <laughs> oh, why are you crying, little boy? You know why. <laughs> yes, it's true. 
You and I are the same. That's right. The case is, I see you sitting there, so small, so helpless. Sometimes I forget that I was like that. Yes, you, you have to remember the, the insults and the beatings and all those dirty... Batty, no, Batty, two by four, hey, come no, through the kitchen door. Get out of my way, stupid lobby. You have a cow, cow. Get bitten one. Brody, smash. Shove me. Brody, smash. 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 Brody, no, now, now, be patient. Hmm? Dedicate yourself to, to work hard and, and save as much money as you can and get out of that school from hell. It's doing you no good, boy. Do not come down. Eventually, you will get ahead. I promise. I asked my father for help. No, he will not listen to you. He hides many secrets that you will have to discover later. You'll see. You will become an ice cream maker as good as him. Mark my word, son. You will discover how to take revenge on them all. <laughs> oh, an unexpected help will come to you. A letter from your mother in which she will finally tell you something important. So pay attention, kid. You're going to be just fine. Hey, you! Yes, you tell me, sweet little boy. Yes, you. I know you have Liz, and I want you to release her. Liz? I think you're confused, boy. <laughs> no, I know it's you. I saw her in the trunk of your dirty van. If you don't release it, I'm gonna fry your brain with this shotgun that I made myself. <laughs> Do you really think I know who you're talking about, huh? I don't remember the names of all the children I captured, you idiot! <laughs> Stupid boy! You have the guts to face me, huh? But you're not fat enough to be useful to me. <gasps> Wait a second. There's an easy solution to that. Open up and say, ah! Perfect landing. <laughs> Done. Oh, it's very tasty ice cream. I don't know why you did this, but I'm gonna exterminate you anyway. What is happening to me? What is that? Hello, chubby boy. Now you're chump and plubby just like I like it. 
Rod, do you live here? Rod, are you at home? You have to go back to her. You still don't understand, please. You have to come back. Oh, this has an explanation, Rod. Rod! Well, in that case, I'll leave this to you. It has been written by your own mother. Oh, my eyes fool me, I'm sure. Uh, is he healthy? I, I don't understand. How is this possible? Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. No, it can't be. Is this true? How could this be? This baby seems to have been born. I, I don't understand. Oh, so it's true. It is a miracle. A miracle. Congratulations, Rod, for your 15th birthday. Be strong. We heard about the death of Joseph Sullivan. I wish I could be with you right now, but the Lord requires me here a little more. Congratulations, Rod, for your 16th birthday. Even though I can't come to you, you can visit me whenever you want. Don't resent me for not seeing you. If you knew why, I can't go see you. Congratulations, Rod, for your 17th birthday. Please, come see me. I ask you. Congratulations, Rod, for your 18th birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your 19th birthday. For your 20th birthday. 21st birthday. 22nd birthday. 23rd birthday. 24th birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your 25th birthday. This will be the last time I write to you. It seems that nothing I say is enough for you to come back to me. Even so, I never stop dreaming of the day you and I meet again. We have so much to talk about. I want to hug you like when you were four years old and you were with me. Keep the book I give you as your most precious asset, for I will reveal a secret that only Joseph Sullivan knew. He stole it from me, but now I give it to you. Thanks to the fact that more time has passed, I have been able to improve the formula. You are my son, and you deserve it all. I will give you the opportunity to synthesize an extraordinary chemical compound with equal force to create a sparkling sun of life or a moon full of death. Warmly, your mother who will always be with you, Sister Madeline, S.M. All together. <laughs> we are a great team. Hi, kids. No. Did you think I'm dumb? Huh? We are a great team. Please. <laughs> no. You're a. <laughs>
It's over. Finally, the waiting time is over. I will finally return with my precious son. Look at them in their cage. I caught all the kids, the bad stupid kids. Now some ice cream will be made. <laughs> oh, going to sleep and kids today. We're gonna Jane, jump it's you? Run. We're going to sleep and kids today. We're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs> well, 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 kids. You're all reunited again? <laughs> I'll leave you alone a moment so you can talk about your adventures. <laughs> but don't get too comfortable. No, no, no. Now that you're all beautiful and plump and chubby, soon you will enter my special room and I'll squeeze you to the last drop. <laughs> still inside my factory. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before I find them.
Is anybody watching? up and say ah <gasps> father father look I I've already eaten most of my food very good son this is how you'll become a big and strong man yes yes a big strong man like you father <laughs> with a good job and 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 many friends I will be a famous ice cream man, too, and a genius as great as my father. The recipe for happiness is within everyone's reach. Isn't that so, father? <laughs> yes, son, it is like that. But that doesn't mean you don't have to work hard anyway. When am I going to be able to eat one of those ice cream? Have I worked enough already? No, Rod, you can never eat those special ice creams. You better get dressed quickly to go to school. I'll see you tomorrow, a little longer, maybe. today. Hmm. I want to learn about plants in animals. <laughs> the monks at my school have so many things to teach me. Why are older people so serious? Ugh. When I grow up, will I be bald and fat too? Ooh, yuck. Will I, will I be someone important? I hope so. Sometimes I I try to remember who my mother was, but I can't remember anything. Oh. Mother, who are you? Where are you? Why can I remember? Why doesn't anybody know anything? <laughs> it's so confusing.
Jerry? I don't stop falling. Jay! Hey, Mike! Woo! Yeah. yeah! Let's rescue the others. Let's go. I've seen something suspicious. Near here, there's a lot of food waste. Hmm. Maybe there's kind of a giant kitchen around here. Is anybody looking? for all that amount of food that these pipes lead to a place where candy is cooked day and night non-stop. Liz is hidden in that place for sure. God, she's so sweet, she'll probably blend in with all that candy though. Charlie could also be there. Uh, mm -hmm. We need to reunite with everyone. It's the only way to give Rod what he deserves. We'd better stay focused, you hear me? Wait a minute. Isn't that Charlie? Yeah, that's Charlie. Are my friends why don't they come rescue me well seems like I will have to escape by myself <sighs> at least this kitchen looks harmless maybe I could even eat some <sighs> oh, God. I think I need a plan. Ah, well, it seems I have no more room in here. Maybe I can fit just one more item. Sister Madeline! Sister Madeline! <sighs> Philippa, I think the idea of doing laundry... are buried under my feet. It was you who started the war. I don't regret what I did. And now who is knocking on the door? Good morning. I'm Sister Philippa. The abbess of this school's order. It's been a while since I got some news about this place. And as you may understand, I had no choice other than... Hmm? <gasps> Here you will stay. From this moment on, you will be my slave! <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. I don't deserve so many compliments. <laughs> Kill him! 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 Kill Now we just need to find Liz. Okay, well in that case, I have something very important to do first. Fine, um, Jay and I are gonna start. Don't take too long.
there either. We can't find Liz anywhere. Wait a minute. When we escaped from Rod, do you remember which pipe she went down? Mm, I think it was the blue pipe here. What do you mean you think she went that way? Tell me for sure. Right now, Liz could be dead or worse. You're doing what we can, Mike. Calm down a little. I don't want to calm down. I'm sick of looking at the screen and not seeing anything. No! Don't do that. It's dangerous. You're making too much noise. Wow. It looks like the pipes have opened up again. Oh. Perfect. This is something else. Give me that. I'm gonna go rescue your sister. Jay, when I enter the pipe, keep pressing the button so that the lid stays closed. Please, uh... keep an eye on it to make sure nothing happens. All right, let's go. something soon. <sighs> Liz? C can you hear me? Are you okay? Mike! Yes, I'm fine. Even though I've been hanging around here for a thousand years. Shall we go now? Liz, I finally found you. And Mike is with you. What a relief. Jay? Is that you? How nice to hear from you. We need a key card to escape. It seems that Rod has one stashed inside a safe box in his town's warehouse. Hmm. Let me think about it and see if I can come up with something. Hmm. What a coincidence. Looks like Rod is going to town. Uh. Mm. Ouch. What's wrong? Charlie, stop fooling around and follow Rod into town. I need you to get what he keeps in his safe in the parking lot. Okay, I'm coming. to leaving this place. Liz, we're together at Let's last. Get out of here, Mike. Listen, Liz, in case we don't get out of here, there's something I want you to know. Of course we're gonna escape from here. We'll talk right now, but first, let's go to the boys. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to say it in front of everyone. Uh... <laughs> I'm so glad you're both well. <sighs> hey, you! What are you doing here, huh? <laughs> oh, don't run away, chubby kid! Come back here! <gasps> I don't know how, but Rod found me and followed me here. Oh, chubby kid, <clears throat> get out of there now! Charlie, where were you? You should have come back as soon as you handed over the key card. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. We have to stop Rod from getting in. By the way, how nice that we're all together at last. Oh, oh chubby oh. kids, get out of there oh. now! Oh. Oh. Hello, you're calling one to this 
Spokane Police Department. How may I help you? Hello. My son, Jay Brown, has disappeared. We, we haven't seen him for more than a day. My husband and I have been looking for him, and we haven't found him. Worst of all, two of his best friends, the Owen children, have disappeared too. They were in the newspaper, and we don't know what to do. Please, ma'am, keep calm. We also have received all the calls about missing children in recent weeks. We're looking for the culprit right now, so please, stay calm. We're doing everything we can to solve these terrible problems. The four children disappeared in the last few weeks? What a horror! <laughs> Could you tell us anything that may help us find your son? Has anything strange happened in the past few days in your neighborhood? Now, now that you mention it, um... Lately, I've been hearing a strange ice cream man's melody. Mm, I see. Please tell me more about it. Where are you calling me from, exactly? Oh, chubby kids! Get out of here now! Oh! Guys, what are we doing holding the door? If we don't do something soon, the crazy ice cream man is going to break the door down any minute. Liz! Mike! Charlie! I think I found a way out! Come this way, quick! Jay, where are you going? The ladies go first! <laughs> well, well, well! I finally have you all! <laughs> huh? No! Damn, chubby kids! They escaped again! Oh! Oh, I can't take it anymore! This will be the last time they run away! Since I kidnapped them and locked them in my factory, they haven't stopped giving me problems! Oh! Oh, I no longer want to use them as, as, as ingredients in my, my special ice cream. This has become personal. Oh, I wasn't planning on resorting to this, but party's over, bastards. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. If I run... One more step, my legs will come off my body. Charlie, keep quiet! That sound we just heard? I think I know what it is. Roz activated the security system, and all the exits are sealed. Unfortunately, I found this lying around a while ago, and it's given me a great idea. From the looks of it, there are three generators supplying power to the security system. And if we can disable them, we can escape this factory. Oh, and I have this as well. The person leading the exploration of each area will carry one and use it to call the rest when they find one of the generators. Ha! Huh, Mike, your habit of collecting junk and papers is amazing! Now let's go, team. Time to find those generators and go back with our families. Yeah! yeah let's go. go! Is this my son's factory? It looks very magnificent from up close. At last, I'll be able to hug him and... Who's there? A fat, ugly creature like you can't be my baby, so I'll smash you with my hammer! <laughs> Charlie, get in position. Roger that. Come on. <laughs> This, uh... Let's go! Boris is assembling well. Boris needs more extra parts. Maybe one of my legs. Ugly, broken robot. 
Your face looks like a rusty frying pan and makes me want to cry. You're too weak to be a security guard. Even a kid like me can beat you. Um, uh, Boris, do ugly. <laughs> to get out of here together. Great! This is like a dream. Am I dreaming, Mike? Ah, stop talking all the nonsense! I need to concentrate if we want to get home in one piece. Mike, how brave you are. Please, don't bother him. Hey, since we finally managed to get out, can you tell me what you wanted to tell me before? Uh, well... I need to concentrate, Liz. Now's not a good time. Isn't this a good time for a hug? Ooh, or for a kiss? Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this man is stopping right now, and y'all can walk home! I, I, I prefer to walk, Mike. No, wait a minute, Liz. Uh, maybe you're just understanding things the way that they're not. I... Look out for that tree, we'll hit it! <laughs> Seems so. No, oh, we really have to walk. going on? <gasps> what? No! This is impossible! They have managed to, 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 to deactivate the security system! Well... At least the rest of the chubby kids are, are still under control in, in the in the extraction room. Huh? The, 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 the door to the extraction room has opened. It must have occurred when the security system was deactivated. Oh. Well, maybe I should pay this place a visit and close that door before the room gets distempered. And my chubby kid pantry is spoiled.
As long as you don't shut up for once, I'm going to let go of my little friends. So be quiet. Gummy, come in. It's cold. <laughs> I just wanted to bring my girl back. Your extreme suffering has invoked me. So here I am. My name is Nasrat. Nas... what? You have not been an exemplary woman, but you still have time to redeem yourself. I can grant your wish in human, but I will ask for something in exchange. Yes, yes, I am all yours. I won't ask you to be my wife. You give me 40 years of your life. I am capable if you bring Elisa back to life. Starting today, you will have to be an exemplary mother and human being. Without being able to leave this school, you will pray me hot or cold. I am capable if you bring my little girl back to life. But I must warn you that by breaking the rules, you will immediately suffer terrible misfortunes. If you are a bad mother, you will become ugly. If you don't adore me, you will lose your sanity. And if during this time, you go out once to take a breath, your offspring will know the most horrible death. I am capable. Yes, I am capable. So be it. Get on your feet. Oh, a miracle! It's a miracle! Miracle! <clears throat> What is it? I'm still here? What are you doing with me? Stop singing that weird thing. I cannot I will give you everything.
everything if you fulfill my wish. May Elisa enter the flesh of this human creature. Yeah! You're an ugly and evil nun! Ah, it seems that this spell has to be performed again. This is not the right child. Safe at last. Mama, home soon.
Good night, little one. Dream with angels. Well, since you are not capable of being good, you will stay down here until the end of your days. Drink it all! <sighs> yes! <laughs> what? Yes! What? Am I transforming again? Yes, it works! It works! I, I am a normal girl again! <laughs> Until the end of my day, you won't escape! Oops! It seems like you've lost something, right? <laughs> You! You're delicious! Day, boy. I don't want my little one to choke. feeling, sweetheart? Um, I don't know if I'm sad or happy, really. Rebecca, the three of us will be together today. How can you be sad? This is the end of one chapter, and the beginning of another in our lives. Come on, 
Let's face it as a family. Hello, ladies. Rebecca, is it you? How grown you are already. Yeah, several years have passed since then. Eight or ten years now. Time flies. You are... Anthony? Oh, thanks for rescuing my daughter. I will never be grateful oh, enough. Oh, don't worry. I was just doing my job. Thank you, thank you, thank you a thousand times. Oh, because you're a bounty hunter, right? Uh, who is that girl you tried to rescue? Uh, Amelia, right? Tell me. Tell me about what happened to her. She was... One, two, and three. A good afternoon, everyone. Oh, good afternoon, Susan. Dr. White, you are, uh... <clears throat> very... Elegant. Have you noticed my new bow tie? <laughs> <clears throat> Good evening, young ladies. Drink one of these. It will help you through this difficult time. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's my pleasure. Look, that's Amelia. I will go say hello. Sit here, if, if you want. Well, well, everything is ready. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, you can enter in an orderly manner. Keep quiet, please. Rebecca, you did it! <sighs> My daughter Rebecca is a hero. <laughs> Thank you, sister. I had no doubt that you would save us all. Everything is over. One last <sighs> effort. Let's get out of here. Quickly. Please. You have all done very well. You are truly brave. Especially you. Mr. Meat, Rebecca is a very smart girl. Not only has she managed to escape from prison in one piece with all of the people, but she has also transformed her friends into humans. Yeah, the girl is pretty smart. She resembles her father in that way. <laughs> going to do now? Reinforcements won't take too long to arrive. As usual, pack up our things and take the business to a place where the taste of good pork is appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> It looks 
think it worked. Yeah, let's get out of here fast. <laughs> Calling all units, calling all units. A 24242 at Nebraska Correctional Institution. Possibility of 209A. Backup needed. Over. <laughs> I can finally get out of this place. I need to find help. <laughs> I wish things had been different. During all these years, you have not come to visit me even once. Don't do it! Let me go! Let me go! You only came to watch me die. Well, now you'll have a death to watch. Good night, my love! <laughs> Soon you'll be obedient again. An obedient little pig. <laughs> 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 